Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Got my favorite sunglasses on again, and this is the Tory wig by Renee of Paris. Now, this is a cute little A-line haircut. I kind of like it over to the side. Is wanting to fight with me about that, but I like it to the side. I think it looks really cute. But the name of the wig is the Tory, T-O-R-Y. And this is in um, actually Spring Honey. It's in Spring Honey. I had written down Creamy Blonde, but that's not right. This is in Spring Honey. Really kind of a cute color. I like the ends. The ends are an A-line bob. Really cute bob with a sleek um, angle cut. Uh, great style, on the go. You can just pretty much put on this style and just go out the door. I did cut a few little wispy bangs, shorter bangs into this particular cut just to make it so it doesn't drive me crazy. But you can see this kind of a bob is very short in the back. It's got a two inch nape, which is bare minimum for me, but um, it is a cute little hairstyle. Um, it's a basic cap construction. It is not heat friendly. So you just, the basic care of this is just to wash it. So you don't have to worry about it. It comes in 27 different colors and uh, it would look good on a diamond or a long, narrow face, um, a heart, and an oval-shaped face. But if you have a round face like me, I think you're going to want to stay away from this one. You tell me what you think. I don't know. I think that bobs like this don't look especially good on me. So... There's the profile. There's the back. You see how it comes down like that? This is kind of a sleek avant-garde type look. Um, there's not a lot of permatees. It's very, very natural looking hairdo. Uh, the color is very natural looking. The spring honey, it's not too blonde. It's not red. It's just a like a dirty blonde almost. That's the color. I wanted to uh, experiment and see what this spring honey was all about because I've seen different ones and um, I wanted to see what this spring honey was all about. So this is the way it looks. It's kind of cute. Um, basic uh, cap, wood cap construction. So Let's take her off and have a look at the inside. It fits nicely. I have to say it does fit really nicely. Turn her inside out. She's got a lot of lace for something that's gotten very little permatease. She's got a whole lot of lace. I've got a little bit of hairs down underneath my eye from when I trimmed it. I can't trim the bangs on the wig unless I'm wearing it. That's the only way I can do that. So you have to be real careful when you do because you've got scissors close to your eyes. You may want to take it to a hairdresser. That would probably be a better number, but I've been cutting bangs all my life. So here is the front. You can see the lace right here. It's quite a bit and it's got open weave all around. It does have the bra strap adjusters, the bra strap adjusters, a nice wide um, velvet piece, smaller velvet piece on the front, and the hidden ear, ear tabs. So she's quite comfortable. She really is. She's quite comfortable. And I'll hold her up and show you the color so you can see the color a little bit better. It's got golden highlights in there. It's got that brown color blonde with the golden highlights. It's called Spring Honey. Spring Honey. It's quite a pretty color. Can see that my fingers up in there so I'm going to put her back on hopefully I can get everything back in its place including my bangs so I love this part always reminds me of the old Phyllis Diller thing all right 
back up on my hairline and I do like wearing it to the side as opposed to down the middle. I'm not too crazy about the down the middle part. So there we are. And she is ready to go out the door. So tell me what you think about the Tory. I know people that love this hairstyle because she is natural looking. Very, very natural looking hairstyle. And if you've got this kind of a hairstyle looks great on someone with a diamond shaped face or a long, long narrow face where it comes down longer. You know what? This hairstyle would look absolutely fantastic on you. And um, the short in the back and the long in the front would accentuate. But what it does on me with my small little round face, if you can notice, it makes me look rounder. It makes my face look smaller and rounder. See? Rounder. So, I don't know. I usually stay away from these these days. I used to wear my hair in bobs like this, but then I started realizing it probably wasn't the best style for my face shape, and I quit wearing them, and I went to other hair, hairdos. You can put this behind your ear. There's no reason you can't, and that's what it looks like. And so, when you do that, the profile is like that. It's going to come right up underneath of you. It's just really cute. So you can do that absolutely. And you probably can take one part. And I don't have, again, I don't have a clip. I need to put a clip out here for when I do this, a decent clip. But I'll just use that for now because it works. But you could also do something like that if you wanted to. Now the bangs that I put in here are just really rough. It took me like two seconds and I just trimmed them up long enough. I didn't want them all the way the same across. So I did the twisted method where you twist up the bangs and then you cut. Those are called, that's called like a dirty bang cut. So they're all jagged and they're meant to be that way. They're not meant to be perfectly straight across. So I'm not real, not a real fan of the perfectly straight across ones unless they're real fluffy. These are not fluffy bangs. <clears throat> they're pretty much straight in the face bangs. So you have to keep that in mind. And those with who have a bigger forehead, longer face, this hairdo is going to look fantastic. And it comes in all kinds of pretty blonde colors, red colors, brown colors, all kinds of colors, like 27 different colors. Um, it's a basic wig cap construction and um, the front is four inches that's why I had trouble with the bangs the crown is seven inches and the nape is two inches and it weighs 2.9 ounces 2.9 ounces so tell me what you think about the Tory by Renee of Paris in spring honey spring honey now for a while I was wearing it with a little clip because when I went out this morning I was wearing it with a little clip because the bangs were driving me crazy. So I twisted it up and put it over here with a clip for till I got back and had time to sit down and deal with the bangs. So here it is, here's the card, the Tory in spring honey as you can see. Really really cute, cute little hairdo. I really like it. I think it's cute, um, especially on someone with a diamond or an oval or a heart-shaped face. This would be very, very elegant. You could dress it up and you, you look, it's so sleek and modern looking. I love these kinds of bobs really because they are so sleek and the hair is so straight. It's just really, really pretty. But it's not for a little round face like mine, I don't think. You tell me what you think. I don't think it's for a little round face like mine. But anyways, I have something else to talk to you about, and that is missing Easter. Do you have a personal relationship with Jesus? Do you? Because if not, you may be missing the most important day of the year, and that's Easter or Resurrection Day. 
If you miss Easter, you're missing an encounter with Jesus, the Son of God. He gives you peace and purpose and power in your life. If you miss Easter, you miss an experience of faith, the joy of belief. He's alive. Hallelujah. He's alive. Our Savior is alive and living right now in heaven. But he's alive. The Holy Spirit resides within us. Don't miss Easter or Resurrection Day. Don't miss the reality of the resurrection. Don't miss that. The joy of salvation and belief. He is risen. Praise God. Hallelujah. He is risen. So don't miss Easter this year. Ask Jesus into your heart. This is a perfect time to do it. It's always a perfect time to do it, but especially right now. So that's my story for today, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.